So you're both new, right? So the rules are you have to copy exactly. Right? You have to forget how you read and you have to copy exactly. Okay? Right. <laughs> So it's shaytah. So ah is from the tongue. Minimum movement for this. It's from the tongue. Shaytah is from the elevation of the tongue. So you raise the tongue up. You pronounce ta. And it's from the tongue, not from the lips. Not twa. It's ta. So shaytah and ra is the same. It's not ra. It's ra from the tongue. Okay? So shaytah. Shaytani rajim, 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 not rajim, with a, like a big lip movement. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Bismillahi rahman rahim I'm hearing lots of bismillahi ra. Bismillahi ra. It's not ra, it's ra. Bismillahi rahman rahim um, let me point out what you need to focus on. Yeah? So let me listen to you once and listen to you once. So, okay, I want to listen to you guys first. How is it? Bismillah. Bismillah. So when you pronounce, open your mouth a bit more. Yeah. So Aruzu, 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 Can't come back a little bit. Aruzu, Aruzu. Yeah. Billahi in a shaytan irraji. Shaytan. Shaytan. Don't be hesitant to open your mouth. You're trying to say everything with your mouth closed. Right? Shaytan. Shaytan. Shaytan irraji. So I want you to, I want you to, all empty mouth. You're doing this full, semi full mouth, neutral kind of. Aruzu billahi min a shaytan irraji. I want you to empty mouth. Aruzu billahi. So it's Aruzu billahi, not lahi. Aruzu billahi is minash, not minah. Minash shaytan irraji. Aruzu billahi min a shaytan irraji. Raji. 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 So that, that rock sound, that full mouth sound, really, it's on the tongue. Try to keep the lips out of it, basically, if you can. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. So it's pronounced A'udhu. A'udhu. Hamza, then A'udhu. A'udhu. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Qutub. Assalamu alaikum. We missed you yesterday. Yeah, sorry about that. Yo. The signing of Rahman Adagorin was late. So my apologies. So let me listen to you then. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-Rahim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-Rahim. Okay, get a hain. A'udhu rahman ar-Rahim. Now it's a hain. A'udhu. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-Rajim. Oh, maintain the, the full mouth of the national part. Shaytan ar-Rajim. Shaytan ar-Rajim. Yeah. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah, so again, Rahman, you have a hat, it's being pronounced. Rahim till it's work, yeah? Keep writing. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Haim, the Haim, the Rahim, the Ha. Just to practice making that, bring, bringing out the same sound as when you say Rahman. A'udhu billahi, sorry. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Just to raise your sister can participate. I haven't had any sister ask to recite yet, but I'm assuming most won't be comfortable. So if our brothers have been recited, I haven't asked, I haven't even got, uh, but brothers, is, basically brothers, even the brothers who are online, I've left it optional for them to basically recite. The water they can recite. I have sisters have for you to participate and practice and so on. Um, you know, I don't have a problem with sisters reciting, but, but you know, it's, it's, it's nobody wants so. I, I don't have a problem with it, but nobody's asked so far, so. Yeah. Okay. So, participate, participate, recite with us, inshallah. But if you want to recite to me, you know, say so, if your brothers are okay with them. Okay.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I want you to remember the ha is uh, is constant problem but who keep working on it الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Yeah, Rahim. You say same as Kutai. You got Rahim. You look at that. Say you got say keep the same sound with Rahim as Rahman. Yeah, Rahim. 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 So Rahim. with Rahman, you're, you can you can tell that you're squeezing the sound up from your different right? Yeah. Doing that. Yeah. You have to do it now. Close your eyes, concentrate. Get the same get the same function. Sound for the sound for a second. Get at least get the same throat function out. Yeah. You say Rahim. 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 So, so say Rahman. Rahman. Yeah. Now what are you doing with your throat then? Yeah, it's, you, you squeeze. It's a squeeze, right? Now recreate the same thing with the Rahim. Rahim. Better. Again. Rahim. Rahim. Yeah, Rahim. Rahim. Did that's very quick. Good. All right. Now all of it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah, and it's not Rahman. It's not Rahman. Rahman is an English R. Yeah. Rahman. We were Rahman. talking about it last week. Rahman. Rabbit. Rahman. Yeah. That's an English R. But this is an Arabic R. So it's Rahman Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah, it's not Bismillah, it's Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay, these are the things to know. We've got to know these things. Okay, inshallah. All right? So a couple more times. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-Rajim. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-Rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rahman and Rahim. So I'm just, you know, I'm just watching, and uh, every now and then I hear uh, some, some lips king involved. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Here Sometimes I can't tell you it is. I think yeah, there are lips involved. <laughs> so from the tongue, Rahman and Rahim. Rahman and Rahim. Bismillah and Rahman and Rahim. Bismillah and Rahman and Rahim. Yeah. So for the kutub, uh, Rahim Ha. Yeah. That's a homework. That's a homework. Rahim. Rahim, just you know, like I said, focus on what you're doing with the Rahman. Recreate Rahman, Rahman, Rahim. Rahim. Say it again. Rahman, Rahim. Are you are you on your phone? You're on the phone, yes. Yeah, bring it closer to your mouth and say it. Rahman, Rahim. Yeah, just need to make it sharp. Okay, you need to you need to get the squeeze a bit more. It's from the squeeze. Okay. Rahman, Rahim. Rahman, Rahim. Yeah. Good. Keep practicing. It'll get better and better and easier. All right. Inshallah. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Okay, so, uh, Alhamdu, no bouncing on the lamp. It's not Allah, it's not Alhamdu. It's Alhamdu. 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 Yeah, not you. Your tongue, your tongue goes to your palate, and it lets out the nose down. Al. Right, you go to the hat. Alhamdu and Alhamdu Rabbil Alameen. Bill Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. No bounce. No bounce. Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. And the law of Rabbi, same as Rahman Rahim. Same as in the last show, which only was the other word. Right, so same as Rahman and Rahim. Yeah, he said Rahman Rahim. It's wrong. Rob, Rob, Rob. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Now, you guys are quiet. Now, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. No, that's not the last. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Stop. 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 Stop.
Robin Alam So you're doing that, you know, going together. Robin Sop. Rabbil Alameen. So doing that, we're going to together. Rabbil Alameen. Alameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. Focus on that Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, you have been Say Alhamdulillah, you have been Alhamdulillah, you have been Alhamdulillah, you have been Alhamdulillah, you have Alhamdulillah, you have been Alhamdulillah, you have been you Alhamdulillah, Good. That's it, yeah? Alhamdulillah. It's not a alhamdulillah. It's not So, what you, what you teach everybody is pay attention to what your math So, what your math is, you say, you open your math, and you say, al, and your tongue, pay attention, right? Your tongue, your tongue doesn't touch the Yes? Al, so al, there's sound there. Then the next sound doesn't come in your tongue. There's no sound in your tongue. If you leave sound, then you say, al, it bounces back. The sound finishes. As soon as the tongue touches, the sound from the tongue is finished. Next sound is from your... Yeah. There you go. There you go. Good. That's the best idea. Understand? So you isolate. You isolate it. Al, and you go to the hat. Alhamdulillah. So that's how every letter, you just have to pay attention to every single letter in terms of how you do it. Okay? Try again. Same thing with Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil. The next sound is the A. Again. Hold it. Slow. Slow. Alhamdulillah. You have to be shy here, your, your own brothers. My sister. Good. It's going to need to practice slowing it down a bit. It really doesn't, you can't learn the tweet if by learning you're really fast. It's just you have to hear. Harder. It's much harder because you have to hear yourself. You have to yeah, exactly. hear yourself. Not just hear, but you have to hear yourself. You have to feel yourself. You have to do both. Okay, you need, to, you need to slow down in order to be able to do it, right? And you need to raise your voice, both things. Okay, Cause then like if, if, if you if, you're, if it's too quiet, then sometimes what happens is you're actually pronouncing it incorrectly, but you're you're, you're just lowering your voice so nobody can hear it, not be heard. You understand? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Lillahi, Lillahi, Alhamdulillah, Lillahi. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. No, I say right, just a little bit. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Slightly there, it's back on. Alhamdulillah, yeah, slow it down, slow it down. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. So not go, jump, go to Rabbil. Rabbil. And then half a second pause. Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. Practice like that. Rabbil Alameen. Practice like that and then bring it together. Rabbil Alameen. Half a second. Yeah? Rabbil Alameen. And then bring it together. Okay? Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. It's not a major mistake, you know that. It doesn't sound right. It's just, it sounds wrong. You know that? It's not a major mistake. Okay. With Alhamdulillah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Try the other half of the composer. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Again, but Mr. Hak. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. So you have to think out here across the board throughout the thing you want to pay attention to the accent. So you have a full mouth accent going to go empty mouth. Al, a, no, a. A and a. That's the contrast. So, so for example, we're going to come to it in a second, right? But, like, Lillahi, not Lillahi. 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 Alhamdulillahi. God. Alhamdulillahi. Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil. Rabbil Alameen. Instead of the English R. Rabbil. 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 Rabbil Alameen. Okay. Slightly like of the name again. Rabbil Alameen. Yeah. I want you to slow down a bit. So. Again, so slower. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Slide back on Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. 
Baik ya, ini okay, bang. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin What did you do? Because it's not something that He said the only answer of the wrong I asked you because the wrong answer was too full Which is the wrong answer Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Okay, look at me You did this, you have Al, Al Okay. So what, what, that, what you did is basically you started the, the lamb, you kind of, you, you, went, you did everything that you would do for full math lamb, right? Mm. Exactly. I heard it. I don't know if you could tell. So, it, so you said Al instead of Al. Al. Yeah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Lillahi. 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 Rabbil Alameen. Good, good, good. good. Alhamdulillahi. 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 Al. Al. Look, look at me. Al. Al. Al okay. yeah. Al Alhamdu Alhamdu Lillahi Rabbil Alamin. Good. Better. Better. Oh, with me. Okay. Everybody else can do it. So. Alhamdu 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 Lillahi Lillahi Rabbil Alamin. Rabbil Alamin. Okay. So it's it's Arabic rock, not English rap or English rap. Rabbi, so it's Rabbi, it says it comes from the feet, it comes from the end of your tongue, not from the middle, not from the back. Remember I told you about Bengali one? The, the, the Uduar, Ur. <laughs> uh, so we, we have a Dashin Doro. That's actually the name of the letter, I don't think that one. Doro, basically. Okay, I think it's like English, Rabbi. Okay. Okay. So you know what they're going to say, Doro, and then Doro. Yeah. In Udu, they have a thought. In Bengali, it's two of them. So it's three R's in Bengali. Yeah, but 14 letters in Bengali. Three hours. Oh, the second two are very similar. Raw and raw are very similar. Right? So, and so the difference, but it's useful for the contrast. I can explain the contrast then is very well. Raw is on the front of your hand. Raw is on the back of your hand. All right. Okay, so. Um, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Okay, so raw is full mouth, not thumbs up. So don't say Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. So, look at the two. So, it's, it's not Ar Rahim. Don't use the full math from the Hamza. Full math at Allah. It's Allah. Allah. It's not Allah. It's A. Allah. From A, you go to full math. Allah. 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 You know what's happening? All the letters are empty now. Right? It's full math. Right? So the full math of Allah shouldn't affect the Hamza. The Hamza is empty now. So it's at. Uh, I'm just still at. Uh, at. Uh, the law is full of So you go at. Uh, you transition between at. Uh, this is one of the things that's like when you're reading fluently, it's very difficult to get right. You need to pay attention to it. And that's the importance of hearing yourself. At. Uh, I, 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 I still have faces where I get it wrong. I'm like, do you understand? Like you're writing. So I never read the whole Quran to read each other. Six English. We have to read. We have to read. To read. I, I, was, I was like 16 years and then I left and went to another institution. And that institution, that method didn't continue. Or reciting Khadim al Quran to one teacher who basically picks on every single mistake in the whole of the Quran. <laughs> it's nice to have the mistake done. Yeah. To try to find it. Yeah. Because you learn it. And it's, it's not a habit, but it's the way you learn it. It's keep coming. You carry on. You just carry on. You carry on. Yeah, you have, you just carry on all in habit. Right. Uh, there's a car there's a teacher in the second level. I think he's, he's Pakistani. He's the only, he might be the only Pakistani teacher in Mashinawi. Most of the imams of Mashinawi are students. I'm sorry, she said he's here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 i is uh, he teaches only advanced students. Usually, his students who are reading to him are already teachers of the read. Um, so, when I read to him, he said, Normally, I wouldn't listen to somebody at your level. Normally, you'd have to practice with my students. And then, you know, so, 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 but he said, Because it's you, obviously, I'm head of college and all that. But he said, Because of you, and because it's you, I listen to you. So, we got so a lot of our students, we got them through the whole of the phone, which I over the phone. He's so dedicated. He listened to them. So he now, mashallah, got about, I think he's got at least one of the brothers to all ten. 
he's half a Rahman, he's he's assistant Imam at Islam Masjid at the moment. He's one of our graduates from ET. I think he's done all 10 now. I'm not quite certain, but I think he's done all 10 now. Several of the sisters have got through three or four. What's Yunkin Masjid Hashim and really, really hard? He makes you do khatam for each khatam. But in order to get yaz from Shabashid, you have to do ten khatam. One khatam for every khatam. So our khatam, the one that we do, the famous one, is Hafsa Nasir, right? So you have to do a half khatam with him. Then you have to do a warsh khatam. Then you, then, you, then you have to do a qalun khatam and all the others, basically. You have to do full khatam. You have to do full They don't do that. In other places, what they do, the warsh first edit has been Dusbury, they do seven khatam in one khatam. Where you recite the first seven times with all the variations. That makes sense. So you'll recite, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll recite, Maliki Yawmi Deen, Maliki Yawmi Deen, right? And, and then, so if there's two variations, you'll do the two variations and carry on. He makes you a full khatam with each variation on its own. You know, do you understand? Maybe you have, uh, yeah, to, yeah proper. Proper. and also it strengthens, it strengthens your Quran overall as well. Basically, means that overall you become a strong practitioner because you've read the Quran so much. You know, 10 khatam is a significant amount of recitation, right? With all of that attention. So just to say that it's, you know, people go through some. A lot, a lot of work. So his students are his students. His students are extremely precise, extremely precise, more precise than anyone I've had. Very, very, very fussy teacher. Extremely precise. In, in other words, like, we are saying fussy, but what he's teaching us proper. Yeah. One day we have to. He have to yeah, he's, he's, he, yeah, he's basically saying perfect. He's not interested in tune. He doesn't care if you don't have tune. Mm-hmm. But you have to have. You have to pronounce perfect. Shane, um, what about? So it's very, I don't know how long it takes. It depends on. It really depends on how consistent the students are. So I reckon that student of mine who probably did all ten must have started ten years ago. Oh, ten years ago, sorry. I think he graduated. He graduated two thousand and seventeen, sixteen, twenty sixteen. I think he graduated. Two thousand and twenty sixteen. Two thousand sixteen, he graduated. He would have started before he graduated, right? Two thousand and fourteen, maybe he started. Two thousand fourteen, started. Finished maybe a year ago. Some years. But this is like every time you went, all right, reset him. Sometimes you'd go to Medina and stay. So he's quite addicted to travel to spend extra time with him. And then otherwise, on front. And I'd be here, I'd be visiting, I'd be in Medina, sit next to the Shabashid, half of the phone for me now to reside him. You know that? So she will, so he does his halqa after, I said to my friend, he does his halqa in the masjid. At that time, he doesn't listen to the phone. And then from then until he goes to bed, he listens to students on the phone. From, from all of the world. Uh-huh. But the majority, majority who, 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 uh, who are on the phone are from the UK. And all excellent recites. If you ask me now to bring um, like an outstanding female recite here, I, I have five or six students from now. You understand? Well, five or six students who've done maybe two or three of the Kerat. Right. And, and yeah. I believe at least one has done. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who's talking to okay. I believe at least one has done all of them. I think this time, yeah, has done all of them. She was the first. She was the first to basically complete this. Okay. What did the best say? I'm not in the road. What did the best say to Mr. Let me see. Yeah. I'm never cursing, I just thought of it now. Yeah, it's it's just, 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 what is it like? So she's. He's a man of taste. He's a man of taste. He's very, yeah. he's very, he's very particular. He's a tasteful person. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, you've got to treat one. <laughs> 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 All right. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so there you go. You, you've heard this now, so make note of that, and I'll ask. Uh, I'll try and get one or two of the students who have completed Jazad. Um, the real answer is why I'm talking about this. Right? So I'm talking about this because to encourage the GD in the time. That's what I'm doing. Because it takes this, like, how do we get so many students to look at us at Imam College? It wasn't me, it's Sheikh Jahid. Sheikh Jahid is the Kala teacher, right? So what he does is he, he does different things to get them excited about it. Do you understand? And then before you know it, students who you would never expect to complete Kala are completing Kala. They become excited about it. Do you understand? Yeah, 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 you understand? Yeah, so, yeah, so that's that's why some, and then he'll really invite for and you know, so um and a lot of the students who are studying at the moment are studying Chef Jai started with me at Brown College. I think he joined 2004, 2004, right? And it's his students, students, his students, students now who are starting that art. So he's he's only, he's only in his 40s, he's, he's younger than me, but he's already got two generations of students through all seven cars. So it's that dedication, that, it's that dedication and that creating that excitement and that buzz around the arm and want to decide well. So, 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 so with that objective in mind, basically, I mentioned this. And therefore, I'm the sisters. If, you can, if we can get something going, I'll invite, inshallah. And, you know, if we need people invite more than one, you know, to come and just talk about the Qur'an, perhaps even talk about the Qur'an, do some recitation, etc. 
do practice session with sisters and so forth. So forth. Also, well, another thing I had in mind is once you guys finish that, I want you to do an open day where we have, where we have an event where people come and they just recite some Quran. They just recite some Quran and then they recite some of it with me and some of it they recite with you guys. And all you've done is just a fatty. You understand? But you speak about the contrast from where you started from where you are now and if that draws more people in. Do the three. Do it like that. Okay. So let's stop there. Right. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We're going to do Audhu Billah Bismillah, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, do that a couple of weeks, and maybe move forward a couple of verses and go back again. Then once I've got you through the whole of Fatiha, um, uh, and I feel like, okay, it's getting there, we'll practice a bit more like that, and then start getting you guys to help other people. New person comes, you practice with other, this is actually good, you can help around So you practice with him, then he help you kind of polish up, right? And then we move, we move forward kind of a bit together, we'll do some more practice together with another swap, but then different people who will kind of be in the middle, or practice some of the more experienced students and so on. That can you do martial arts? Yeah. Okay, okay, yes, what did you want to say? Um, I've got some well, sort of two questions. One is just a bit related. And uh, I was saying, what do you think of the, uh, the way the Arabic series like um, Six Days reads? Yeah, it's good. So I listen to him because I, I listen to all the So his most, his of the, most of the residers in Akkadina, the Tawid residers, mm. in the Middle East, for basing the big masjid, whose recitation in the app. I've listened to most of them, right? They're all, it's all, they're all excellent recitals. It's in the sense that if you were to copy them, you're not going to copy anything incorrect. All right. You know how with certain imams, if you copy a recitation, you're going to end up copying incorrect stuff, right? With right. none of the recitals who are kind of well known in the Middle East, in Mecca, Medina, in the Big Masjid, um, and who are now popular with the apps, right? Most of them, even though they're not, you know, they're not doing Karab Tabas this time and so on, it's a mm. recitation, which is actually what most young people should be emulating. Mm. We don't need everybody, we don't need people doing. And so on. The exhibition style recitation, that's what we need. We were reciting for the sake of the law. Most yeah. of these guys, you know, it would take like people like Sheikh Bashid to pick mistakes in their recitation. Right. And, right. Otherwise, for the most part, you know, the recitation is good for the sake And usually, what we do with his students is we take them, pick a favorite reciter out of them, and start copying. And, so, and learn through copying, pick up a tune, and then eventually, when you get used to one and settle into a tune, then you can, you know, you can start to adapt it and make it your own and, and so on. And my brother is in, in this school. So, as you know, your brother came in Nogar, uh, right, right. So, he's now, he's actually not got a permanent role. He's now a head teacher of Amizan School and under this academy. He's not a student. So, he's the permanent head. So, he started as a, as a head teacher. As a head teacher. But this is what he's with the students. And some, some of the students are at age 14, 15. Like, they sometimes they, they lead to two or or something. Like it's amazing. And this is how you get them to recite. You get them to pick a favorite reciter. Right? And just, and just copy, like copy, 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 copy. And this kid practices as though, he, as though he's learning a song, right? Practice and copies and copies and copies and he's perfected it and then he makes his own, he adapts it. And then suddenly his recitation is better or it's unique, it's different because he's naturally, each person is different. He develops these little variations that make his recitation even nice. And some of these kids, I've, like I've heard them recite, it's, it's unbelievable. That's the but you have to distinguish. So you have to remember, one of the things I'm doing with you is I'm stripping two. Right? Yeah. You have mm -hmm. to learn. So as you develop into tweed, you learn to distinguish between the tweed, like like precise recitation and tune. Yeah. That's, that's the exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is so that's why I say, say to you that anybody that's taught to read by encouraging listening, right, usually has success. Everybody that teaches the tree by encouraging rules, learn the rules, read the book. So uh, yeah, is it wrong way around? It's an auditory system. You learn after you picked up, after you picked it up from listening and practicing, you then go to the rules. Yeah. Right? And then you see the rules in practice. Oh, so that's why I ran it like that. Oh, this is what we're going to do. You know, and so on. So my children didn't learn any rules. I can't just have to tell you. Then when they were learning the tree, oh, okay, so that's what they meant. And they, that's why I do it all now. This is also this day. But by then they're already doing it because they instinctively picked up. It becomes very naturally as well. It's, it's mm. surprisingly easy in the end. In the end, it's probably easy, it's probably natural. You can pick it up by instinct. See, but, um, so, uh, with the uh, Arabic uh, for recitals, uh, Sheikh Abdul Basit, now his recitation style is, is so difficult to emulate, where some like slaves are easy to emulate because it's a simple yeah. style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, but that's because that, 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 the Tadheel style is very, very suspicious. Right, you understand? And, the, and it's different. There's, there's, that's a long conversation, you know, about. The, the the melodies and the tunes and the Muhammad and things like that they use mm. uh, and so on and some scholars I, don't, I some scholars don't like it not like Muhammad they like yeah. they like him some scholars are simple and don't like overly complex melodies in Quran you know and so on yeah. for the most part the Qadr al is credited with putting the view of the map 
Yeah. Like, I never heard any of the Greek recitation as I was mm. I was very fortunate to have in my youth a 3D right? It was extremely rare. This is 1984, 85. Yeah? Um, I just kept teaching in 3D. And so I had that little bit of access. Other than that, in terms of hearing recitation of Khairat stuff, it was cassette players, right? I won. We didn't have a cassette player at home, right? I won a cassette player in Khairat competition. Oh, yeah. Right? So I won, a, I was actually in with a cassette player. I won a bit of money. And my father used that money. That was my price money. And my father used that money to buy uh, a cassette player and a player of the bus itself. You know, you know, not what I, I, yeah, I, I don't have a voice for it. I can't copy. And then, and then throughout the 80s, right, it was just so blessed. He put the dream on the map. In terms of like, you know, oh, people taking notice. Well, this is how it's supposed to be. Like. So I was listening to Check Out the Buses in the 1960s because my dad, my dad just listened to him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. So from let's stop there. I was not getting any other work done. Everybody practice the bits that I told you, okay? The stuff pointed out, make notes of them and practice them. Mm. Okay? Sorry.